Happy Monday, everybody. Wow, what a Monday it is already. Early start for the day. Went to the dentist. Already have made another appointment to go back to the dentist today. Went and got my teeth cleaned. Always feel better after that. So today, we are finally here to do some budgeting. We are here for a weekly check-in today. And you guys will not believe the amount of money I spent out of my savings funds. So my sinking funds. So let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, everybody, here's our calendar layout. I did a good job tracking everything this last week. If you watch my other channel, you know that I had a huge spend day this last week. So if you want to see a grocery haul, Walmart a haul, Dollar Tree haul, plus some other fun stuff, you'll want to go check out uh, my grocery haul and my vlog that just got posted earlier today. So we are checking in today from the 18th all the way to the 24th. I have already filled in our weekly check-in list to save a little bit of time. And so let's go ahead and grab out our wallet along with our dividers out of our wallet and hopefully this matches what everything else says. I have quite a bit of money that I need to take to the bank, which I'll be doing as soon as I film this video. And so we're gonna go ahead and start out with food. Well, let's check it out. So food right here, set these so here. let's start with food. We did have expenditures for food this week, and I do have a color-coded system, but in the future you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna start using some tracking stickers because my sister-in-law, Shannon, has created some new stickers, so I'm gonna be starting to use those. And there's all kinds of new stuff in my Etsy shop, and I know there's a little bit of new stuff in her Etsy shop, so if you haven't checked those out, check down below for both of our Etsy shops along with discount codes. So we've got our food, we're looking for this teal color right here, and so we've got a transaction at Smith's, and this is the grocery store in that town where I went, along with Taco Bell. I brought home Taco Bell for the family that night. So it looks like we should have spent $107. Let's take a look right here. So we've got 87 and 20, which means that we spent 107. Now let's see, for food, we started out with $300. For anybody that is brand new to my channel, I take my rollover money from each week. I give myself $150 each week, and this goes to our transfer today. So we only spent, what did we say we spent? 107. Well, we've got $43 here that we're going to go ahead and put to transfer today. So that $43, while it wasn't spent on food, it's no longer going to be in the envelope. So we're going to go ahead and show that we spent $150 and that will leave us with 150. So I will grab the 150 and add it to my divider for the rest of the month. And then we've got on the go food. And I can tell you guys this, we have no on the go food left whatsoever for the month. We did a lot of stockpiling this month. I also bought products to can with, so I bought canning jars and canning lids and stuff. And the color for this one is this light green right here and so we've got Ridley's and I see that I'm missing one other transaction because it shows that we had $85 to start with. I believe that that was canning jars or lids is what that was. And so we're gonna go ahead and show that we spent $85 and that will leave us with $0. And so we've got Ridley's right there and I cannot remember when I ordered lids. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and put that on Monday and so I ordered quite a few canning lids and I used the stock up money for that. So let's go ahead and highlight that the right color. This is what I was talking about, not being sure that stuff was exactly right. And so lids right there. And the sad thing is by picking that day instead of one of these other days, I took away a no spend, but that is okay because that's what I get for not keeping better track. And then we've got my car, so let's take a look. And it's funny because I didn't have a note card in here. And so, <laughs> I went ahead and just wrote myself notes so that I didn't forget. And so for our car, and did we even write car on here? I don't think we did. All of this stuff happened on the 20th. So we're gonna go ahead and put it right here. Now part of the oil and filters was part of this Walmart trip right here, which came out of this fund right here. So we're gonna put $55 for gas 
And then we also took part of the money out of here for filters. So let me grab Mr. Cassio and add these up really quick. So we've got 55 plus 63. So that should be $118 out of car. And we need to grab our highlighters again. I can't believe I forgot to put that on there. Here I was bragging about how good I was doing tracking when I did not. So there's car and that's on the 20th as well. So we're gonna go ahead and check that off and let's take a look and make sure. So for car, we started out with, we should have started out with $200. And we show we spent 118, so if we subtract that from 200, that should be $82 left. 50, 70, 75, 80, one and two, at least that's right. And so we spent 118. And normally I wouldn't do anything but fuel out of this, but I had it, so I figured why take it out of the sinking fund if I don't have to fully. And so that gives us an ending balance of $82. And I do not believe I will need to gas up, so this will be going right into the car sinking fund anyway. And, well, let's go ahead and do that. And you guys, believe it or not, I'm using a real pen, so I've already made a mistake, so let's go ahead and correct that. This is what I mean on my channel about keeping it real. You guys are right along with me as I'm making decisions about what I want to do. More white out. Okay, so I just had some conversations with myself that I'm going to delete out. We're going to go ahead and put that we spent $150 because we're going to go ahead and take $32 and put it to transfer today. That's going to give us $50 for the rest of the month. Now normally I clear out my envelopes right here and use them and don't have any left whatsoever, but let me look at something. So this month is a little bit weird and I'm having a little bit of growing pains created by myself because normally when I do my last check-in for the week or for the month, then I clear out the envelopes. What I probably should have done, even though there's only four Mondays here, I probably should have used a five week check-in but we'll just go ahead and check in on the second, and then on the second, we'll, if we have any money left, we'll go ahead and rotate that around. So we still have $150 in food. I did grab that, just so you guys know, so there's our $150 for food. For car, we're gonna go ahead and keep $50 in there just in case I do need to fuel up, but it is gonna give us $32 more to transfer. Now let's go ahead and get into miscellaneous and fun, and I can tell you guys this, Miscellaneous and fun is empty. So miscellaneous and fun started out empty. We did not spend anything else, so we are still empty. That is easy peasy there. And then we're gonna go ahead and talk about home. Now home had an expenditure. Home is this gray color right here. And these colors are a little bit off, but these are sinking funds, they should have been this color. So home $50, that's what came out of our sinking fund. So we started with $100 and we spent 50, so we should have 50 left. Let's double check and make sure. We do in fact have $50 in home. Let me tell you guys what happened with this home category. You see I've got $50 out of the sinking fund and $50 or $50 out of the cash divider, $50 out of the sinking fund. This was our annual um, membership for our homeowners association. It's only $100 a month and we do not actually have a home on that land, so we just pay $100, so we got that paid. Now let's talk about my money right here. So for me, I don't actually show that I have any spending, so for me, I should have started out with $57. Now let's double check and see what I've got left, because did I mess this up? That's what I thought. Hmm, what did I spend money on? I think I might have taken part of my money and put it towards this right here because right here I show hair and products of $100, but I spent more than that. So we're gonna add it on to that day. So we started out with 57 and what did I have in here? I had 10, 22. So we've only got $22 left. And I'm sorry you guys that this is such a hot mess. I usually try to be so organized, but I promise you guys always that I will keep things real with you. And this is real life for me right now. Things are a little bit hectic and keeping track of all the sinking funds is brand new. 
So it has been a little challenging, but still I am so excited to show my actual spending for the month. Let me grab a highlighter. So for me, it should be purple. Yes. So let's highlight that purple. And we had even more categories spent than what I even remembered. And I should have checked this before I started filming, but here we are keeping it real. So we've got $22 in my allowance or my spending money. Then we've got pay it forward and pay it forward. I have been saving this for a drawing for 2000 subscribers. That's taking a long time. And when I went to Taco Bell, I saw a lady with her children paying for Taco Bell with pennies and she was worried she didn't have enough money. I grabbed a 10 out of my wallet and gave it to her because they had ordered like one thing and they were paying with pennies. And so she ended up getting $9 back in change and I told her to keep that. And if they wanted to order more stuff to please go ahead and keep that. So I went ahead and paid it forward $10 for a donation. So let's make sure we've got $198 in here and that I didn't mess something up. So I've got 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I was happy to be able to give a little bit. It wasn't much, and I don't know the circumstances behind it. And my heart tells me now that maybe I should have given a little bit more. But I tell you what, that $10 made that lady's day. And that's what it's all about for paying it forward. So paying it forward started with 208 and we spent $10, so we did what, $198. And of course, that could have come out of my giving fund, but I use the pay it forward for that. Now let's talk about sinking funds. So sinking funds for the month, we had started out with spending $901. Let's go ahead and add up all of our sinking fund money. And this is all money going to the bank. So we're gonna move this off to the side a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and grab Mr. Casio. And of course, we are starting the 17th through the 24th. So I paid our land tax on Monday, that was $401. I paid Sam's Club, $200. I paid Chewy, $122. And Chewy was a mistake on my part because I forgot to cancel the auto order. So we have a ton of things in our garage for the pets. And then we've got back to school for my son. This was some pictures I ordered and that was $22. Dollar Tree, $16. Walmart, $222. Hair products, 100, and sushi, 50. Okay, those are all good. Then over here, Amazon, 208. This came out of the gardening sinking fund. I got some galvanized raised beds, and then home was another $50. And that is it for sinking funds. Can you guys say, holy cow. So that was 1,000. $391 spent. So let's go ahead and add the 901 to that. So that means I have spent $2,292 out of sinking funds in the past three weeks since the 10th, because that's when I started tracking. Now, just so you guys know, land tax, that's a larger bill. It only comes out every six months. So that is $400 of it, but still that is quite a bit of spending that we have got there. So let's go ahead and grab some stickers. We need our no spend stickers and we also need our Georgette or our piggy sticker. And where did I put those? Oh no. Okay. I found the piggies. <laughs> they were kind of shoved in places. And so if these are from my sister-in-law, Shannon, both of these here. They are 307 Design Studio on Etsy. So she has got, for the piggies, just so you know, she's got the ones with the little circles, and then she's got the regular piggies as well. What I love about these is you can use them to track absolutely anything that you want. And so this is brand new for me, starting to keep track of my sinking fund spending. So I'm going to go ahead and put one right here on the 24th, and we said we spent 1300 and $91. So I've decided that each week I'm going to keep track of these. And then I'm also going to probably, I was going to put a sticker here. I was going to say, I'm probably going to put a sticker at the end of the month to go ahead and add up everything that we spent in sinking funds. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to add one the very last day of the month. I will add that all up to see what we spent. Let's take a look at our no spends. So like I said, on the 18th, I added the lids there. So that changed it to a spend. I do not count sinking fund money as spending money. 
That is just the way that I have always done it. And I like to do it because right here, I spent $22 on ordering hockey pictures for my son. It doesn't feel like I should be penalized and say I spent money. Now, maybe that's not right, but that's how I'm going to do it. So obviously Monday we spent lens. Tuesday we spent more money than we knew what to do with, or Wednesday we spent more money than we knew what to do with. On Thursday, we did some more shopping there. And on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we had no spins. And that's because your girl was at work all weekend. <laughs> Even though I can order online, of course, and shop there. So our goals this month, 15 no spins, $200 in side hustle income, $300 extra towards debt. So let's check the no spins. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have made this goal right here. Let's take a look at our progress for side hustle. I am not sure if we're gonna make that goal or not. 33, or I'm sorry, 33, 64, plus 20, 72, plus 294, plus 124, 28. So 181 58. I don't think we quite made it. I haven't found out yet what my side hustle for Etsy is this, this week. I don't think it's going to be very big, but that is still pretty dang good. I was super happy to get a YouTube check. This right here, the majority of this you guys will be seeing moved to a fund on transfer today. And $300 extra towards that. I'm going to have to figure that one out as well. So that is it for me today. Thank you guys so long for coming along with me for my check-in. One last thing. We did not have any uh-oh or unbudgeted spending. Sorry, I forgot to fill that in. So for real this time, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Bye.